Hello, this is Levik and welcome back to the Creator's Cup. Today we are going to see another quarterfinals match between Ankolet and Lord Lambert. They both won the first round and I think this is definitely going to be an interesting run. So, let's get into that. Uh, I, for I forgot, I drank only two bottles of beer, Jesus Christ! <laughs> now it's going to be an easy game. Yeah! A Russian after a beer. Yeah. Nothing easier. Lambert, uh, heads or tails? Uh, queen's head, please. It's tails, unfortunately. So, that pick or uh, attack? Defense. Uh, I will defend. Okay. I need okay. alcohol I'll be, to, to, I'll be to go pressure, out. please, so. then. I'm ultra pressure and attacking. Oh, joy. Let's see, Lambert is building the forts now. Alright, so far it's standard, but the question is if he's going to put something closer to the border, because remember, we did change a terrain a little bit between the runs. But right now, first two provinces from the border are grasslands, which is making uh, fights on the border a little bit more even for both of the sides. What about that? Uh, yeah, he's building forts and he started from building forts closer to the border. Of course, he cannot build on the border because of the rules, but he's building uh, as close to the border as possible. That is still missing some town holes. They were both a little bit late. Uh, Lambert is building everything. He has the estates. He needs to improve those guys, but this is good. And Uncle that is playing aggressively with his uh, with his mercs, ready to attack. Yeah, that is actually deving a lot. He spent all of his admin diplo points on diving the country. Let's. And in around a year or even less, we should be starting the warfare. And oh, we can see the force final. Oh, yes, Uncle is focusing on covering this area the most. The Bo like so from Bohemia and like closing the way to, the, to his capital. Uh, why Hungary is also out of force, but not so much defense on his back over here. I think Lambert opens too many provinces for Ankulet. Of course, Ankulet is defending here, so <laughs> it doesn't matter that much. But see, if Ankulet lets Lambert go into his country and then he wins a battle, there's a huge chance of catching all of this re potential reinforcement stacks in here and here. So all of those provinces are not defended by the forts. This is the year that we are going to start the war. Lambert is supposed to attack. Uh, he's also standing of 60k stacks, which I think is a little bit too much because in most of the provinces that he can stand on, you can see it's going to give him attrition on this, uh, all of these provinces on the wood. It's August 47, so Lambert can already attack. You can see that he prepared all of his stacks. He's drilling them actually. Why Uncle Let is just sitting here with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 stacks of 92,000, 50,000 infantry, 42,000 of artillery. Well, that's his strategy. He has a slightly more artillery just in case if you lose some on the battle or lose some on the attrition. There is something, you know, just, just in case here. And also not so much of infantry in the first rows, which is risky because you might get 0-9 in the first fire phase and get, uh, get wrecked a little bit. Let's see the numbers at the start of the war. It's 1.77 for Uncle Leds and 1.4 million for Lambert, but you can see Lambert has, uh, is having 300,000 manpower on his packet. There it goes. Right. Good luck. Like, the problem for Lambert is that he cannot infiltrate the administration yet. Here we're having the Battle of Speech. Lambert might be late with the reinforcements, and he is. He's not having art in his back row. Uh, did he take the policies though? Oh no, he was slightly declaring the war and he forgot about the policies and changing his advisor. Why? I call it having both advisor and all of the policies, discipline, morale, morale. I, uh, yeah, I, that's not the best start for, uh, for, for Lambert here. See the difference, it's 9.7 and 10.5 of morale. Like, if Lambert would like to win that, he needs to take the policies first. Right, right now it's just, you know, a mess. Uh, it's a slaughter. We go here and see the losers in the battles. It's 200,000 difference. In the meantime, Uncle Ed, oh, he's getting caught here. No. Yes. Yes. Go. Go. Those guys will be 13th. Uh, he didn't scorch the earth here. And he's going to lose something. Yeah, but Uncle Ed uh, reinforced that uh, also almost on time. Because Lambert is not playing that bad. He just forgot about the freaking policies. Oh, nine. Oh, my nine. Did you see that? Oof. 
think uh, Aglet is having a strategy of not going for the border. Oh, no, he changed his mind, he's going there. And he has the infiltrated administration, so he could just go and kill those two stacks. Because there's there are completely no forts here. Of course, he can catch with one stack here, but he could, could have just used this stack to stack wipe those two guys. Yes, that's exactly what they are trying to do, and that's what he's going to do. That's a stack wipe. Stack wipe in three, in two, in one, and there we go. That's unfortunate. Did uh, Lambert take his poli- No. I proved 49 and still no policies. That hurts me. It hurts my warm heart. Catching a stack here. There we go, a stack away from Lambert. Good job. Considering that he didn't take the policies, this is a really nice difference. Like, it... Just 200,000 difference on the troops on the, on the battlefield. Of course, there's a manpower as well, but okay, I'm just counting this. This is not bad. If Lambert's get the policies right now, he still has a chance of winning that. But he needs to take the policies. Now he's... Yes! There we go with the policies! Infantry combat ability, artillery combat ability, and 10% morale, probably. Now we can play, guys. Now we can freaking play! Creator's Cup was made by the same, uh, same modder as Antebellum. Parmelion is helping us a lot. Great guy. Ah, okay, he reinforced in the last second. Um, this is actually not the best place for uh, Lambert to attack, because if Alcolet goes here into Novi Sonch, he cuts off all the reinforcements from Lambert, and this battle will be automatically lost for Lambert. Guys might be a little bit late on the reinforcements. No, he will be on time. And Lambert is attacking on Spish, which is a weird idea, because he will not be able to reinforce this battle, which means he's going to probably lose that. Uncle that might be late with reinforcing this one. Uh, it reserves Fred 20k in reserves for Uncle that he's going to be here on the 31st August. No artillery in the first row. Oh, this is going. To, he's losing here. Uh, yes, he lost here and okay. So <laughs> two battles won by Uncle Dead and one by uh, by Lambertini. Lambertini won here and lost on those two battles. And yeah, you could see that was basically the advantage on the numbers of Uncle Dead because they played this, uh, I would say, more or less similarly. Just a mistake from uh, the Lambert here that he went all in from Templin to Spish, which was like completely not useful. Yeah, there's like a half a million difference almost on the troops right now. So Uncle Dead is getting into some of the advantage. There goes the stab hit. We'll see. I don't want to have the original one. Did he just accept the piece? Uh, ah, uh, yeah. Oh yeah. That's okay. that's true, actually. Right. Lambert, you're fighting for almost two years without the policies. Yeah, I know. I know there's something I forgot, and uh, oh. some absolute big dick Chad in my chat threw me a thousand bits and said, "Get the policies." <laughs> Yeah, I've heard on my stream that they were like spamming you constantly about the policies as you were just not chat. seeing I was, that. I was yeah. Stressed out my eyeball. No, I like uh, remember that when I was playing with Blazing for four hours, we didn't even pee for the whole match. <laughs> okay, that's uh, heads or tails. Dead. You oh, uh, heads, he muted heads. himself, that means I win, default. <laughs> <laughs> heads, heads. <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's actually, again, heads. <laughs> oh, I can uh, even do a screenshot for you guys. I'm sorry, Lambert. Oh. Oh, should I? Should I? I mean... <laughs> Let's keep defend this time, Dad. Uh, okay. All right. I'll play, I'll play North then. Oh, yes. The good old Rizut Moneta. Yeah. Okay. The what? The coin. Like, should we try it to read in Polish how to like pronounce coin toss? Ah, right. Yeah. It's yes. Rzut Moneta. Yeah, no, I get it. Yeah. No, that's totally... they, well, it was fine. It was Orzel, so. Oh, should we do code. it again? Do it. Grzegorz Brzęczyszczykiewicz. Oh, that's that's the dude. And then there's the Grzegorz. Brzęczyszczykiewicz. 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 <laughs> You're getting better, Chewie, in that. 
but Good we've job. been hanging out with you too much. It's hey, that's, fine. Uh, you're muted. I have a question for you. Oh, I'm here. I'm here. I'm just. Uh, yeah. uh, my chat is asking you to say Grzegorz Brzęczykiewicz. Grzegorz Brzęczykiewicz. Ah, Slavic. Kurwa. Yeah, it sounded. It sounds like a bunch of <laughs> kurwa. So here's a question that I have for you. How do you pronounce the the Polish prime minister in World War II? Is it Ignacy? Yeah, Ignacy. Ignacy. Okay. Because uh, the surname. <laughs> huh? Do you know how to pronounce the surname? It's harder. Uh, let me see it. <laughs> you know, I'll try. <laughs> oh my gosh. Mo. That's a good start. Mo Mosiki? Mosicki. Mosicki. Okay, so the CKI makes a ski sound? Yeah. That finished my his apologies. forts, and he mainly focuses uh, around the border. That's, like, it's. I would say it's the same what Lambert did in the last match, but Lambert did the same line of like two forts, but he did that on the back of his country. Uh, while that is yeah. more like covering his border. By the way, Lambert is doing the same thing that Uncle Dead did in the last uh, in the last uh, match. He built up all the marks on the border, like to scare his enemy. So Lambert's forts are up, and he has. Ooh, see, I don't agree with this. Like, I really think that if you're going to build your forts, you want one in Prague because it protects all those provinces. They're so small. It depends, uh, like uh, on your strategy. Because if you let your enemy, what I told you, like if you let your enemy more in your land, uh, you have more possibilities to go around and stack by him. There's a question from the judge: if, Is the drill worth it? Like, uh, there's two sides. Like, what Blazing says that the cannons that they get so just additional damage, extra for fire a, damage, yeah, yeah, for some few first battles, which so you can get like 15 or 20 drill. But on the other hand, you can get at least one percent of army professionals from drilling. So there's like you. Know, Earning 32 mil points thanks to that. Yeah, Uncle that is going to go fast. He sees all of those stacks. <laughs> oh, Lambert, this is going to be August first war, 100 percent Lambert can't see shit, and that Uncle that probably knows that, and that's why uh, like Uncle that is not, not staying busted? in the side. I think he forgot. Oh, he still hasn't. Yeah, maybe he's, he's going he's for slacking their Maybe equipment. he's going for the. Yeah. yeah. No, maybe he's going for sabotaging. It. Lambert has the policies. That's good. And Very he good. has the advisor, and uh, they both have advisors and they both have the policies, right? Yeah, they both have everything. Uh, have on the stack. Lambert right has lower morale for some reason. We got yeah, our first he, battle coming in over he just picked the policies. Then uh, uh, okay. his morale didn't load up, especially on the force match stacks. Let's see, Those Uncle problems. is going for the two battles at once. Three battles at once. This is going to be interesting. All right, let's see. Oh, dude, he was so close to be late in the speech battle, but he reinforced that in the last millisecond. By the way, uh, hmm, yes, yes, that's exactly what I wanted to say, that uh, Lambert can just cut off reinforcements of the battle in uh, whatever Ostrava by going into yep. Ratibor, and he's going to win this battle thanks to that. That was yeah, a good was move. Say... Now that he needs to reinforce the battle because, okay, it's, I think it's too late. He won the battle he in Ostrava, though. That. Yes, <laughs> he did reinforce that on time. That was so close. This is a good start from Lambert, actually. I was going to say, Lambert's going to win all of these battles. Uh, maybe not. He's got the guys in Novi... 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 Sa Sax? Mm, yes, he's late in Ratibur. He was there. And How do you he's say getting that? caught in this Hradecko as well. Novi yeah, Sax? But, uh, but in speech, uh, he's going to win. Uncle that is late there. And then Lambert Did pinned he... down some guys up there in that Hiradeco. Yeah, that was weird. So, dead fled from Ostrava. Yeah, and another battle lost by the... <gasps> stack weapon no. speech! Stack weapon speech! Coming Two from free? A hundred thousand! Two? Is it a stack wipe? He, I think he'll, he'll be wipe? able to Next flee Next fire that. face, there eight. Eight on fire face. No, no, no stack wipe. He will flee. <sighs> that was close. He lost a lot of men there, though. He lost like 60,000. Yeah, let's that, see the losers, by the way. <clears throat> so maybe he lost all the advantage uh, that he got in the initial phase. They have exactly the same amount of the armies right now. I and told the you. losers is like. Might as well be nothing. 83,000 more lost on the. Uncle so Lambert, side. Lambert should pin down that like 250,000 men right there in Radabor. He's going to lose that fight. What is he doing? Oh, no, know. not the three. What is he doing? No. Wait, wait. That's actually good. That's actually good. If he can, 
No, oh, yeah, yeah, Lambert. <laughs> well, like, it depends if Ankulet will be on time with his reinforcements from Berlin that are coming, but he might be late. We'll see. I this would, would really expect him in Radabor. That yes, would be he, so smart. Just, just catch the reinforcements, that's all. This is slow morale. Go, Lambert, go, Lam Lambertini! Oh, he's no, running now with a low late. morale stack. Now it's, now it's, I think, too late. He's coming with the new troops. There he goes. If, now yeah, he's okay, he it. should win that, okay. Like, he will win in trenching, but he needs to reinforce this Ratibor right away because he's going to lose there otherwise. With bad yeah, rules, yeah. he could have even been stuck oh, right look, there. Yeah, it looks like he's just given up the fight in Ratibor. He's got yeah, artillery but, in the front row. Oh, they're... Oh, uh, trenching, trenching. If Un will Uncle could be able to... No, no, he just broke. His line just broke. That fight's over. This, this fight good. should... He, yeah, this fight was 15% of the war score from Lambert. Yeah, he has right now 22% of the war score from the battles. Oh, holy crap. That's crazy. By the way, Lambert, he just... I think he just uh, did the thing with the manpower to that. Yes, he sabotaged the recruitment. He was waiting for that. Ha uh, ha ha, that was calculated. That's I nice. love that. nice. Very smart. 300,000 reserves on the Lambert side. That's a slight <laughs> overstacking there. <laughs> oh, but it's better safe than sorry, right? That's what they I say. I can accept that. Though he's going to lose this fight over here in Spice, or however that's pronounced. And he's uh, still uh, reinforcing the trench in, not Spice. You see that? Oh, yeah. He oh, he's fleeing. Both of the battles. Look at him. He's fleeing from one battle to the other. I love that. That's a good strat. <laughs> 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 I think he. I, I'd rather say that he misclicked that. Yeah, I think he did, and then he realized it. And so Lambert actually, has also free, free, uh, full back rows in uh, in Ostrava right now. <laughs> Hundred seventeen thousand. And he, he's winning on trenching, I think. Third November will be the re, uh, reinforcements from. Uh, those reinforcements from Novichons will be late. Or will they? He's still he, he, he getting the, the first row. With... He reinforced Whoa. in the last second, but just to get killed without artillery there. But he's going to reinforce from Spish on the other yeah. hand. Yes. And yeah, that was so in the last second. The it was, the Scorched Earth there almost screwed him up. So Lambert's playing smart with the Scorched Earth. I love to see that. Yeah, no, Austria still got about an extra 100,000 men in the field, though. So he might lose these fights, but he's yeah. still doing okay. Well, maybe well, that now will they're about lose one, battles, they're about but one he lost one more troops. Now. Like The thing is that uh, Lambert is playing for the policies for the pure quality, so he's going for the infantry combat abilities, he's going for the art combat ability, while Uncle that is going for the morale policies. So Uncle that is winning the battles, but he's losing more troops at the same time. But they actually have both quite a low amount of their troops already. Peach, oh, Lambert is Templan. attacking in Poshni. And he's well, getting How do you like that? I, I, I think this is really I, bad. I, I this don't is... think he planned it. I think it was like he clicked to go next to Shonot, and by an accident, he went into the stack of Ankle Dead. It didn't look planned, at least for me. Yeah, well, yeah, I think he had an oh crap moment. Yeah, it's just even a bigger advantage on the Lambert after this battle. <laughs> it was all planned. I, I hope that Lambert keeps these two stacks on the left just in case to kill. Like, this is like the ad advantage that he does right now as the defender. He can keep those two stacks on the back and in case just catch some reinforcements. But I think that uh, he's yeah. waiting for that with, because he has full five back rows of artillery. There goes the battle. A little slow to reinforce for Lambert. He's pretty close to getting artillery in the front row. Should be. No! He lost artillery. Oh that man, he shattered pretty hard. All right, but yeah, at least he's reinforcing with. No, he's not reinforcing with artillery. He was for a second, but changed his mind. Oh yeah, he's got half of his back row is infantry. Yeah, yeah let's see the fire uh, damage. What he he rolled nine on fire, and he's just killing four thousand daily. That could have been like eight to ten thousand. I think if Dead was smart, he'd attack in pest. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Just like and, he hears uh, me almost. The, the, the secret <laughs> stack of, of of Lambert is going on the back right now, but he has nothing to catch, basically. It looks like the Uncle that is having less troops over here. Work. Lambert is playing this really well. Slowly. But yeah, so he's going to lose the fight in Solnok, though. He's actually yeah, easy. and in Pest as well. I think so. He, no, he'll be able to reinforce that. No, oh, no. he fled. No. Very good. That's good. Uh, He could have won that... To be honest. Oh, he's going he straight to Zeppelin. 35. Go catch this. Oh, no. He that's won the... Scorch this. It's Scorch. 
But he, he did. He, he was too late. He was. It was too late. He, that's kind of bog bogus. Uncle Dead won a thirty-five. I'd be so tilted. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Lambert is still having way more troops. He's having a hundred forty thousand more troops. I'm telling you, I so, think Dead lost a ton of men to attrition. <laughs> Attrition, but he's losing more on the battles as well because he doesn't have this artillery compatibility. Three hundred thousand more troops in the in the battles and eighty more thousand in attrition. Yeah, but he's also got war score. So I mean, at also, the end of the day, you can have more men, but he is winning fights. Uncle did just switch to four back rows instead of five, and he's right now good with the numbers. Oh, Lambert, Lambert is missing a few thousand artillery in each stack. I think this is another accidental fight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a crossing. And then an Ooh. eight. So that's uncle, pretty good. uncle that is having uh, artillery combat ability. He says, "Well, I take policy, oh, so no. you can just get general." Look on the back row in pass. No, again, same thing. Oh, theme. Lambert. Yeah. Uh, there's almost no artillery there right now. He could have won that easily with this number advantage if he reinforced that right. He still has about he still has about a two hundred thousand advantage though. <laughs> oh, not anymore. Look at him, Poshone. He didn't scorch it. Oh, feels bad. Hurts. You hate to see that happen. Look on Vienna. Oh, that's the fourth artillery stack. Oh, that's a GG. So doing? Think... What is Lambert doing? Oh, this that's that's not... like this a is... new, new like version of the boom boom stick. Look. Wait, he's not Michael reinforcing. Uncle that is not even reinforcing that. He's too scared of, of this. Go, get into go, Vienna. Go, <laughs> go, Lambert, get him. <laughs> is this... Oh, it's all scorched though. Lambert is Leroy Jenkinsing this so hard. He's like, well, they're all going in. He just put his entire <laughs> army in. Okay, I think he knows he lost then. Yeah. Well, he still has uh, 275,000 reserves. His morale is like not going down. Oh, and <laughs> Dead has a minus one roll as well. And he, no, he's not going to Vienna with those funky stacks. Just go there. With oh, everything. he's still oh, hitting no, him while he, there's a fight uh, going on. <laughs> he misclicked one of the He's doing it. He is actually doing it. Go. He's got the little stacks running in. Go I love there. this. <laughs> Look at the Your little small dead. guys running in. <laughs> 125,000 reserves. He can do this. 8 tool. He rolled 8 tool in the fire. Well, there it goes. Simple. Uh, Look at all the little guys just running in. <laughs> All, All right, right let's see. GG. <laughs> that Yo, was, Lambert, the last I button that. was close. Was it was like, was it I, I knew I'd lost, so I'm like, fuck it, death stack. <laughs> no, dude, I, mean, I love it. I love I it. I mean, after the first battles, I thought, I'll, I'll lose that. I mean, it was yeah, really... You Lambert has like really 200,000 advantage yeah. on the numbers most of the game, until this like press battle when he reinforced too late. Yeah. Okay guys, I think that's all today. This was an amazing fight and we are going to see Uncle Dead in the semi-finals. Of course, he's still waiting for the second match between Warbit and Belkai to happen and this is going actually to happen today on my Twitch channel, so please remember to follow it as well as all the other guys that are going to fight today. So, thank you so much for watching, remember the likes and comments and I will see you soon in other videos.